Hello and welcome. This is uh, a podcast by filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. And I am Chris, also with a K. Uh, and that is really how I spell my name. Uh, some people still write it with a C, even though I say in every video it's Chris with a K. Anyway, uh, in a previous podcast, I was talking about how, as an advanced computer user, I'll call myself that, an advanced computer user, um, may do things that are more advanced and technical than what the average user would do. But uh, would that include using the shell? Uh, so, you know, all, all computer operating systems have a command line somewhere, a shell that you can use. And um, whether you're on Windows, Mac, Linux, or even an Android phone, your router, your TV, if you can get access to it, there's a shell there. There's a command prompt. Is it more efficient? Is it easier to use the shell than it is to use a GUI desktop click interface? Sometimes. Most of the time. Not all the time. If I'm drawing a picture, I definitely want a mouse and, a, and, and you know, be able to paint something. Editing video can be done from the shell, and if it's an automated thing, if it's a regular, you know, I'm going to put this logo here, have an intro and outro, I actually script that stuff out quite often um, because it's just like, it's, it's the same thing every time. But is regular everyday use of a lot of the things we do in computers easier if you're in the shell? I mean, do you need to use the shell? If you're you're using Linux, do you have to go into the terminal? Some people say, oh, if, you, if you're using you know, a Linux operating system, at some point you're going to go into the shell. That's, that's not really true at all. Um, pretty much and anything that can be done in a GUI can be done in the shell, and anything that can be done in shell could be made into a GUI. Because um, basically a GUI, which by the way, if I haven't said, stands for Graphical User Interface, um, which is your, your, your windows and your mouse clicks and your, you know, your regular interface. So if I, if I don't need to go into the Linux shell, why do all of these forums I go to or questions I ask about how, we, how to do stuff on Linux all say, open up the shell and run this command? And the answer is, it's the easiest way to do it most of the time, especially if you're explaining it to somebody. So I'll, I'll just give you an example. Uh, just in many cases, let's say you want to do something simple, like change the wallpaper on your desktop. Not hard to do, but what you would have to do to explain it to someone is, okay, at your desktop, right-click your desktop, go to the option that says desktop options, go to the tab that says wallpaper, choose open file, go to the directory where your image is, click on that image, click OK, boom. Something similar like that. It's going to be at least five or six steps. In the shell, it's run this command. There's going to be a single command, and then you're going to give it the name of the image you want. And it might seem scary to write in the shell, but explaining it to someone is just like, here's the command, rather than do this, do this. Lots of times, if you're trying to explain something simple, it's usually you have to go, OK, go to your start menu, go find this application or find this under your start menu, click on that, then search for this in there, go to this tab, go up to file, go down to preferences, over to this tab, just to do something simple where in the shell it's this is the command and you're done. And it's it seems scary. It's I get that if you have a GUI interface where you can click on stuff, oh I can see there's a button that says this. Oh I can see this button, but you have to find those buttons first. And I can see if you really don't know how to do something, how that can be beneficial. But once you know how to do something, it's easy to do, and it's a lot easier to do in the shell. And some commands can get a little long. That's true. But that's what aliases are for and scripts are for. If a command gets long, you can alias it if you're going to run that command regularly to where you can type whatever you want, and it will run that command. So even if the command's 50 characters long, you can have it be Bob, and then anytime you type Bob in the shell, it's going to run that command. Um, and that's another place where the shell shines. It's it's scripting. It's it's programming. Basically, you're you're writing commands. Programming is just putting a list of commands together. Where the shell, you're writing them one at a time. Is basically the difference. And computers. The point of computers is to do repetitive tasks very very fast. So if you're going to do something regularly. 
most of the time it's going to be easier to do it in the shell because you can create an alias or some sort of shortcut. Now, you can also link these shell commands to an icon or some sort of GUI interface, but it's still just the shell. I get, again, that it's scary for people who don't use the shell because what do I type? And they're all scared they're going to type something wrong. And in reality, the type, the, uh, typing a typo and having it you know, wreck your system can happen. But usually only if you are actually know a command and you type a typo, you're not going to go into the shell, hit a bunch of keys on the keyboard, hit enter, and wipe out your system. It's just, it's just not going to happen. The odds of that happening are astronomical, astronomically small, I guess. It's, it's, the, the times those happen, you're doing advanced things that a regular user, user probably wouldn't do. Um, and if they did, it's it's like very clear that this is dangerous. And doing it in a GUI interface is just dangerous. Formatting a hard drive, I can go in, click a couple buttons, and and it will wipe out my hard drive. Where I can do the same thing with a single command from the shell. And uh, the only real difference is, at least on a Linux system, is usually uh, the GUI interface will pop up a box saying, "Are you sure you want to do this? Do you want to continue?" Where the shell, lots of times, will assume that you typed it because it's it's fairly you know, difficult to accidentally type a command that's going to wipe out your hard drive because you actually have to type it out. The GUI interfaces have dialogues saying, are you sure? Because you can accidentally click a button. You don't want to accidentally click a button and wipe out your hard drive. The shell assumes that if you took the time to type out this command, you want to wipe whatever partition or do whatever you're doing because you didn't accidentally type all those keys on the keyboard. You do want to be careful about copying and pasting commands, especially from websites uh, where people you don't know tell you to type this. You should understand a command before you type it. But the shell is, for many things, much easier to use uh, and much easier to explain how to use than explain, again, uh, go to your start menu, go up to program files, go to you know graphics, click on this application when it opens, then click on file, preferences, go to this tab, just to do something where one command in the shell could do it. So yes, the shell is easier for a lot of things, but you have to learn how to use it. And I'm not going to tell people you have to learn how to use the shell. You can use the GUI interface, but don't be afraid of the shell and don't think that using the shell is harder than using the GUI interface. Uh, the GUI interface is there just to guide you, and it's basically doing the shell commands in the background, um, in a general sense. Anyway, this is Chris of FilmsByChris.com. I thank you for watching. Please visit my website. Again, it's Chris with a K. You can also support me over at Patreon.com forward slash MetalX1000. I appreciate your support. And uh, as always, I hope that you have a great day.